Hello world. Well, my friends, we are rocking and rolling. We are on episode eight. Tell you what, it was hard to get rid of that Dr. House wallpaper. Whew. Man, that was fantastic. Okay, well, we're moving forward on episode eight today, and we're going to do what's called a hard drive defragmentation. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. Now, if you go to my website, there's a website, uh, I'm sorry, a piece of software called Smart Defrag. It's PCMichiana.com. Scroll down the bottom right-hand corner. I know I'm going to do this every episode for those of you who are watching them individually. Click on Smart Defrag 1.1, which will lead you to download.com. I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to go and run straight from my download section. Now, the download on uh, Defrag Setup is actually designed by IOBit as well, the same people who designed the Advanced System Care. Now, when the installation comes up, just run it through the installation exactly as you ran through its advanced system care. Accept the agreement, click next, click next, create the desktop icon, and again they're going to try to get you to install the Yahoo toolbar. No, no. Remember we're not installing toolbars because they slow down Internet Explorer. And I guess if you wanted Yahoo your default search engine you could. Next, install. This is a very lightweight application so it doesn't take very long to install so this video is going to be really, really short and there's not a whole lot to it. Pretty much what it does is it scans your hard drive. Actually, I'll show it to you here in a second. Go ahead and launch Smart Defrag. Wait for it to come up. Notice it opens itself in the bottom right-hand corner too. I don't. Again, this piece of software does that. We're going to disable that from startup. Once it comes up, you have an option of just starting it at Defrag only, but notice that you have three different options. You have a Defrag only, Fast Optimize, and Deep Optimize. You're obviously going to select the drive you want to optimize. Just click Analyze, and they're going to give you a suggestion of what particular type of scan you should get. Now, I'm going to go ahead and not let this finish because my processor is very bogged down by my capturing software. But when you scan it, it'll tell you whether a defrag is recommended or not. And if it is recommended, it'll tell you what kind of defrag is recommended. So what we'll do is, is we're going to go ahead and go to Fast Optimize and click start. That's typically what I do when I sit down at a computer, you know, if I'm at a client's house or something, or I'll just tell them, do a deep optimize before you go to sleep. Deep optimize can take anywhere from 30 minutes to five, seven hours. It all depends on how defrag how fragmented your hard drive is. Now, what we want to do is, after we've done this and we've actually done our own defrag, we're going to go to options, and we do not want it to automatically do anything. I don't like it to automatically check for anything. Uh, I don't like it to automatically load on Windows Startup. Make sure that's disabled. Make sure it's not minimized to system tray when program is closed. It recommends it, but that tries to do on the fly defragmentation. I'm not a big fan of that because what I like to do is I like to run it whenever I'm doing my monthly maintenance because, you know, I do a lot of stuff on my computer and I don't want to get slowed down and slowed down and slowed down with all this junk running in the background. And under auto defrag, this is the same thing that can be running in the background if you allow it to run in the background. I'm not a fan of auto defrag either, so I disable that as well. Again, I just use this tool every once in a while so that I can actually sit down and, and just do a periodic maintenance. So that pretty much sums up smart defrag. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. I'm going to close that out. And uh, you can go to my website and my channel. Make sure you subscribe to uh, Precision Computing Michiana. If you're actually watching this video on YouTube, like I've said before to some people, when the video's up, you can either just click sub subscribe right here, or you can visit my channel directly right there by clicking on my username. I really appreciate everyone's feedback. I've gotten pretty positive feedback so far. If you guys have any other ideas or any other questions, just leave a comment. If there's anything else you, will, you guys are interested in learning after I'm done with this series, or if you have any more additional questions to add on to this series. I really appreciate you guys swinging by, and I hope you learned something today. Thanks a lot.